In this video, we're going to show you the best gun bunch defense in Madden 22. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to encourage you to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day right here on the YouTube channel. Now, if you're new to the channel, I released a 335 odd defensive guide at the beginning of the year, and it has been the best defense all season long. So if you want to learn my entire defensive guide, it's actually been updating over the course of the last couple weeks. We just updated it today with a 20 minute breakdown on how to run this, uh, how to run a uh, bunch defense a little bit more in depth. So if you want to get access to it, we've got pressures that will come in. Two man pressure will come in against gun bunch max protect. We've got a three man pressure that comes in every single time. We've got a very consistent six to seven man pressure that you can create. There's a lot of great pressure concepts out of the 335 odd in this year's game. That being said, I want to jump into today's video, but if you want to get my full defensive guide, it's available down in the description below. You can get that just for 15 bucks. Very, very cheap, about half the price of what you're going to see in the market right now. But I would encourage you to get that. And again, uh, there's a link in the description. All you got to do is go down, click that link. It'll take you right to the website where you'll be able to get the defensive guide. But I cannot wait to get into this video today, guys. This is an absolute banger of a tip. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to use the cover six. Now, the reason I can show this in practice mode is because the, we don't want to put our zone drops on anything. We actually don't want to set our zone drops whatsoever um, from this cover six defense because it's a match defense. The way it's going to play is it's going to be a cover four match on the on one side and it's going to be a cover two match on the other side. So uh, cover six is the defense that we're going to go with. And we're going to show you how to use this to stop the best play in gun bunch, which is the verticals play. Now, really important tip here right off the rip. Do not press your coverage. I repeat, do not press your coverage. All you want to do is you just want to spread your defensive line, crash your defensive line out, and one little pro tip is to bring these safeties down just so they can play stuff a little bit easier uh, right off the rip. And what you're going to see here is the first setup that most people like to do out of this is they like to go ahead and they like to streak the R or streak the circle receiver just like so. And what you're going to see is if we set if we do that setup this year, you're going to see right here. It's double teamed and completely bagged to the bunch side. So super simple defense against this gun bunch verticals. Take a look. Uh, or uh, The next thing I want to show you is the snap throw. I think the snap throw from verticals is actually more of a pain to deal with than anything else because it makes it so that you have to run some type of cover two or some type of cover three with hard flats or whatever. So let's take a look at this um, wheel route against this coverage. So if I try to throw this wheel route out of here, you see the quarter will stand there and he will pick six that every single time. So they're not going to be able to throw that. The other thing that I want to let you know about is you might think, well, okay, well, Cody, um, if you're in, if you're, if they're running man coverage on you, I can bomb that over the top. Well, not with cover six. So if I motion this out here again, he's got really good leverage against this, this wheel route. And if I wait on this, I'm not going to be able to get over the top of him no matter what I do. It's going to be an interception every single time. That's one of the most powerful things about this cover six defense is it, it really does bag a lot of the things that Bunch is going to do. For example, if I run this flood concept uh, to the Bunch side, I want you to see uh, kind of how this is going to defend that. So this is just a simple flood concept to the Bunch side. Take a look at cover six, absolutely bagging the corner route which in my opinion is one of the hardest things to defend this year um, from any formation is the corner routes. The corner routes are always open. Not so with the cover six defense. The other thing that I absolutely love about this is if we take a look on the back side of this defense, um, this, uh, this deep half zone really does a good job. And take a look at that soft squat, just take away C routes, something like a double post type setup that you're gonna see a lot of people. So a lot of the major things that you see over and over again from Gun Bunch is gonna be completely bagged um, in this cover two defense. For example, if I take a if I take a receiver and I run something like this right here, which is basically a flood concept to the bunch side with the post trail, this um, deep half in the middle, look at that, just completely bag the post route. So everything is just absolutely bagged with this defense. So this cover six defense and this cover six coverage scheme really does a great job of defending a lot of the major things that the gun bunch likes to do. But I want to give you an adjustment that's going to allow you to free up your user and be able to help out on things like crossing routes or post routes. 
And that is all we're going to do is we're just going to spread our line, crash our line down. We're going to take this guy, Golston, and we're going to put him on a bluff blitz. And if you take a look at that, it's going to put him on the three red hook zone. And now I'm free to use her, Levante David, who has the lurker ability. So I still have my coverage intact. Everything is going to cover exactly the way I want it to. But now you're going to see I have the ability to go help on the coverage. And there you saw the incredible pressure from the 335 odd. Absolutely screaming against a blocked running back, two man or three man pressure, instant heat. That is why I love the 335 odd this year. It's so good in terms of pressure, and we just found a crazy good coverage scheme that you can use. So if you want to get this defensive guide, I'd encourage you to pick it up. It's super cheap, and we have hours upon hours of content. Right now, I think it sits with four hours of content, and we will be updating this, this guide if there's any patches that come out that change the way these coverages work, or there's any patches that come out that change the way the blitzes work. But as it sits right now, 335 odd, best defense in the game, in my opinion, and you can get it for just 15 bucks. There's a link in the description. Just head down there, click that link. It'll take you to the website where you can get the defense squared away. And if you've gotten the defensive guide, if you would just do me a favor and comment down below what you thought of the defensive guide, how it's helped you become a better player, I'd really appreciate that and love to read those. Thanks for your time, and I really hope that you guys take the time and uh, get that defensive guide down below. Again, it's super, super effective in this year's game. So I'm really excited to bring you guys a little bit of defense um, at, the course of, uh, at the course of a very offensive-minded game.